This is called a no-spin differential. It's made by the Eaton Corporation and is OEM installed in the back axle of front end loaders and the back axle of twin engine caterpillar scrapers. There's another name that this locking differential goes by and it's called the Detroit Locker. In the automotive world or the off-road 4x4 world this is called a Detroit Locker. Now if I rotate this or change camera view here I stand this up that's what it looks like and so it is a direct replacement for the cross shaft the differential pinion gears and the axle side gears in a differential. This collar here is got an internal spline that's where your axle shafts would be connected to it there's one for each side. Also what I'm not showing you here is there would normally be, be two large springs one on where each of my hands are pushing the two clutches together. Okay I'm going to turn this back on its back take out the side gears here. Here's what the, one of the springs would look like. Fairly heavy, but it's not like a spring in a maxi brake pod. I can compress this quite easily, but it does go to put a lot of tension on there to hold the clutches engaged. Okay. How this thing works then is there is a clutch on each side. This uses a dog clutch. So I got the square cut teeth here, and I have a a uh, left hand clutch and I have a right hand clutch. One is connected to each axle. A Detroit locker is called a limited slip differential but really it's more like a locking differential that can unlock to allow for cornering on surfaces that have good traction for the tires. Normally this thing is engaged or locked meaning the right hand wheel and the left hand wheel are locked together all the time until you go around a corner. And it's the traction between the ground and the tire that actually causes one of these clutches to unlock. These things are locked so well that you can actually lift a wheel off the ground and the other wheel will still drive. So it's not like a true, like a limited slip in the, in the most familiar sense of the word. This is actually a locker that can unlock. Now. If I open this up, this is one of the clutches. You can see the square cut teeth around the outside perimeter. That's what actually does the driving. In the middle or the inside circumference, we have a ring that has, I'll switch cameras here so you can get a better view. We have these other teeth that are more of a angled peak on them. That is the teeth that actually causes this thing to unlock. Okay, now going back to this, so I have my square cut teeth around the outside circumference. I have my sort of uh, angled mountain peak teeth in the middle. The angled teeth in the middle, there's another ring inside here. So you can see that if I rotate the outer ring just ever so slightly, I move about an eighth of an inch or so. And what happens here then is, depending on the operation, as this goes around, one clutch will be able to lift up and separate from the main spider or cross shaft. So how a Detroit or a no spin differential works is both axles are splined together but when the vehicle goes around a corner one wheel will unlock. Now on a normal differential when we go around a corner the inside wheel slows down and the outside wheel speeds up. In a no spin unit yeah, I don't really consider it a differential because it doesn't have true differential action. In a normal differential, we don't lose any speed from side to side. Whatever one wheel loses in RPM, the other wheel picks up in RPM. So whenever the inside wheel slows down, the outside wheel picks up the same RPM. This does not do that. In this particular example, when we go around a corner, let's say that my left-hand side is going to be the wheel that unlocks. The right-hand wheel is engaged. The right hand wheel wants to slow down but it can't. The right hand wheel has to stay rotating at the same RPM as the crown gear all the time. Now the outside wheel though can do this. 
it can overrun the inside wheel and the crown gear. Now that noise you hear, that is normal. This thing doesn't unlock a great distance. It barely disengages the dog clutches. And so you'll get this ratcheting noise out of the actual differential. Now on a piece of heavy equipment, you usually don't hear it over the, the roar of the engine and the whine of the power shift transmission. But if you could get in close to the differential, you might hear this clicking sound. Now when the vehicle straightens out or the wheel speeds become equal again, this thing locks back in. So it re-engages. So in that sense, it is not really a limited slip differential. It's a lock-in differential that has the ability to unlock. Now there's one precaution with these no-spin differentials. Because they rely on the friction or the traction between the tire and the, and the ground, if you put a no-spin differential in the front axle of a vehicle, especially on icy roads, you will not have the friction between the tire and the ground to cause this thing to unlock. And therefore, you may lose steering control of vehicle. And that's one of the reasons we don't put these into the front end of vehicles. They always go into the back end.